Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Erickson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey Lauren. So it's um, it's interesting times we're going on right now. We we've been talking about uh, some of the unexpected surprises from the presidential election and about right. the behavior of the stock market. Mm -hmm. Found an interesting article in the personal finance section of USA Today newspaper, and it was written by a gentleman named Peter Dunn. Okay. He uh, he he wrote a book called Mock Retirement. M O C K. Retirement. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, he, he did some interesting research, but uh, the the gist of the article is. Um, that uh, you know, one of the biggest fears as people near retirement and are in retirement is that their fear, their fear of running out of money uh, right. you know, during during their life expectancy. Yeah. And um, you know, he, his belief is you should, you know, as you get as you retire, you should be planning uh, for uh, a thirty-year retirement. Is, is, is kind okay. of the, the expectancy right. uh, to plan for. So, so he said that uh, uh, you know, fear keeps you fear keeps you in check, but. It can also uh, be the difference between running out of resources and a sustainable retirement strategy. He said, too much fear can be a disaster. Some, ret some retirement savers lo lose so much sleep over their portfolios, they decide to uh, stuff, stuff their mattress with cash, as one, one strategy, right. uh, or they, 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 do the, the, they do the thing thinking they're getting a return, which is investing perhaps in CDs or money market accounts or boring old savings accounts. Mm -hmm. So his analysis was is that if, um, uh, if you use that strategy, it could be a huge mistake. And, the, and, and his calculation would be that if you uh, had all your money in a cash CD type equivalents or money market accounts, right. and you're taking 4% annual withdrawal out of your portfolio, you have an 81% chance of running out of money during retirement. Okay, right. 81%. Conversely, uh, if you pick a diversified portfolio of 60% stocks and 40% bonds, You'd have only an eight percent chance of running out of money at that same four percent withdrawal rate. Okay. So he's basically saying that, you know, he says don't gloss over that last conclusion. People that are see, uh, seeking safety are ten times more likely to run out of money by refusing to invest. Right. Does that, does that make that makes sense? Right. That that dovetails with uh, the the with the stuff that I studied on my own when I studied withdrawal rates, and I found that over longer retirements, like thirty or forty years, the the lowest historical safe withdrawal rates were for portfolios that had all their money in the bond market or all their money in uh, low risk accounts. Uh, the, the reason basically is just because inflation over the long run eats away at, right. at, your, at your savings and there's the, the probability that those saving accounts or those money market accounts or those CDs are ever going to go back to having rates of return that are anything in excess of inflation right, right. is pretty low. So you are really running a serious risk of running out of money if you're trying to withdraw anything at, at all uh, out of those accounts. The idea that the, they are low risk is based entirely on the fact that they're not volatile. Right. That's what makes them low risk. Volatility is the risk. Right, right yeah, yeah, exactly. And and that's what makes them excellent if they are for emergency funds or, or other things where you might need to spend the money right now. Right. But over the long run, if you're talking about risk, like risk is running out of money, then over the long run, risk is not simply volatility. Now over the long run, risk is many different things. Right. So to kind of finish this episode, he, he closes his article with, I think it's kind of an interesting question. As a person faces retirement, you need to make a decision. What risks are you willing to dance with? Yep. Exactly. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Erickson TV. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye-bye.